Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joey Bennett, and today we're going to be making a pillow in Blender. First step to making this pillow will be to scale down the cube. So we're going to hit S Z point one, S X one point five. Control A, rotation and scale. Now, going into top orthographic view, we're going to tab into edit mode and hit Control R. We're going to subdivide it to fifty nine and hit enter followed by a right click now we're going to hit control R and subdivide the other way we're going to do this to 29 oh, apologize that's 39 then we're going to hit enter and then right click now you have this part here which is not uh, subdivided we're going to leave it that way we're also going to hit Alt, hold down Alt, and right click on it to select this uh, ring of faces right here. And we're going to hit X, only faces. This will leave a lot of edges in there. We want that. I'm going to use that for sewing in the cloth simulator. Now we're going to pull out this here menu. A bit tricky. Go to the physics tab and hit cloth from there we're going to enable cotton as the preset you can go down to cloth stiffness scaling up oh, cloth sewing springs and cloth field weights and we're going to enable cloth sewing springs and leave that at all the defaults go down to cloth field weight and turn the gravity down to zero next we're going to hit t and close out that menu we're going to hit Shift A, Force Field, Force. Go into its properties and in the Physics tab as well, you'll see Strength. I'm going to turn that up to 200. Now, if we simulate this, we should be seeing a pillow. Immediately it sews together and now it's inflating. Give it a brief moment to process this and then we'll be back in a sec. All right, we're back, and the pillow is done simulating now. All right, so right about now, you should be having something along these lines. Um, it doesn't look perfect, but it looks pretty close, and we're going to refine a little bit now. So the first step is finding a frame where you like how it looks. Could be something along this frame because there's multiple wrinkles here. I think I'm going to go a little bit further after it fully expands and I think right there is good for me. It's got some big wrinkles here, some little wrinkles here, a few more wrinkles here. I think I like that frame. Scroll through it. See if there's anything. That, might, that there might be nice. Hmm. All right. We'll go with that. Now, we're going to select the pillow. Go over to the modifiers tab and hit apply on the cloth simulation. Now, if we scroll through the timeline, there's no animation there. We go back to the first frame. Now we can delete the force field. Hit one. We're going to scale the pillow down because that's just a bit too fluffy. I'm going to scale it down by 0.7, do whatever looks right to you. you hit Control A, Rotation and Scale. Now we're going to tab into Edit Mode. And you'll notice we have doubles. So we're going to select everything, Control A, Remove Doubles. Now what we're going to do is we have these faces right here, but they're not ideal. So we're gonna hit can we're gonna select two of them like this and hit alt M at last. Alt M at last. So that gives us much better topology for that corner there. Gonna do that for all of them. But to speed up the process, we'll select these two here at last. 
that does it all at once. So we select these two, and we'll select that one lastly. You want to always get that corner one that uh, is the last one you select, and then hit Alt M at last. And that merges it at the last thing you select, which in this case is the last vertex you select. Alt M at last. Alright, so now we have a nice uh, edge loop here, which we can select. When I select it, we're going to hit Control B. Okay, Control B will add a bevel to it. We're going to scroll up once, and that will add an edge loop in the middle of that bevel. And we're going to uh, left click. Now, we select this middle edge loop here with Alt S. Hit Shift on your keyboard and move your mouse slightly because otherwise it scales very quickly. We're going to scale it in just a little bit because this is going to be our scene. Now we're going to tab out of edit mode and we can hit Control 2 on our keyboard to see this nice subsurf on there. Go over to the T panel and under shading we'll select smooth. And there's our pillow. From there, you can uh, you can UV unwrap it. You can go back. You can select that seam you just made. Hit Control E, mark seam, select everything, open up a split area by right clicking, open up a UV image editor, U unwrap, and there's the pillow. So you can add a nice uh, cloth shader onto it or whatnot. Uh, you can go into sculpt mode and you can sculpt some more wrinkles in here but all in all that is done and you can import it into your scene copy paste into your ArcVis scene or whatnot hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you find it helpful leave a comment below like if you like the video dislike if you dislike the video leave a comment if you do dislike the video let me know what was wrong with it if you have a better method of doing this uh anything you want to add thanks for watching